Hey guys, welcome back to my Divine Timing Tarot. This is a love reading for Capricorn for this month of April 2024. If this reading resonates with you, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Capricorn, I have your um, reading here set out on the table. This is the third time that I'm trying to read these cards. Um... I feel like, you know, considering the fact that this is the third time that I'm trying to relay this message back to you guys, I feel like you guys right now are really trapped inside your thoughts. You're feeling like you're just waiting for somebody to knock on this door and to come and grab you and you know, give you a hug and tell you everything's going to be okay. You know, like you're just, you're feeling at this time like everything is unfair. Your life is unfair. You're feeling like you're in this on your own. Like you're, you're like basically everything is just not working out for you. But let me, let me just rewind here and go back. So I can start from the recent past and then I'll tell you about what's currently going on and the predictive outcome for the remainder of this month for you guys. Um, the signs that I do have on the table are Aries, Taurus, Libra, Capricorn, Aries again, Libra again, uh, Leo, Sagittarius and Pisces. So, in the recent past, I have the Seven of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. So, to sum this up, I already clarified it and everything, but I feel like in the recent past, you were dealing with someone who was very, um, very strategic, very deceptive. Um, this is someone who just never wanted to take any sort of accountability or responsibility or ownership for their actions, never. It's like they always try to get away with everything. They try to get away with whatever it is that they can get away with. As much as they can get away with, they would get away with it. Like they would try at least to get away with it. Whether it was through manipulation, whether it was through lying to you, <coughs> whatever the case may be. And you know, if it was through manipulation, it's like this person would always try to make you feel good about yourself. You know, when this person knew that they were in the wrong, it's like they would try to take the spotlight off of them. You know, they would try to and 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 put it on you and make you feel like, oh, you know, I love you or I, you know, you're the center of my universe. You're the center of attention. You're the only person that I have eyes for, you know, um, you're so beautiful, whatever it is, you know, you're so attractive. Um, you're the, you're, you're all that I want. You know, they would say whatever it is that they can say to you just to make you feel good about yourself to, and that was the tactic. That was their tactic to get the attention or the focus off of them. And it's like, you just, you know, you were always like, not sure. You're like, do they really mean what they're saying to me? I feel like you knew deep down inside that it, you, you couldn't trust this person you know, and you were getting pulled like in two directions. Like, what should I do? What should I do? Should I let this go? Or should I, you know, keep, should I, should I remain in this connection? What should I do? Ultimately, what did you do? You made a wise decision. You told this person that it's just not going to work out anymore. Whatever it is that this person did to you, <coughs> whatever it is that you gone through with this person, it was unfixable. Um, you weren't willing to fix it anymore. It's like you weren't willing to work things out. 
however it is you want to put it. You made this wise decision and you told them like, you know, it's done. Like, I don't want to work. I don't want to work things out anymore. It's, it's done. And again, now moving on to what's currently going on with you right now, the five of pentacles with the emperor or the, sorry, the empress in reverse. You're feeling like no one's there for you. You're feeling like nobody knows how you, what you're going through. You're in a really hard, uh, really tough mental state. You're, you're being very hard on yourself, Capricorn. Very. You're not believing in yourself. You're feeling, you know, like you're not good enough. You're hoping that somebody's just going to pick you back up and, you know, everything's going to just resolve on its own. You know, you're going to just start to feel good again about yourself. But there is someone you, whether you, for some of you have met this person and are currently talking to this person, and some of you aren't. Regardless of the fact, there's somebody new. This is someone who is not looking to jump into a relationship right now. This person's not even talking about a relationship. You know, this person finds you very attractive. You know, there's communication. There's a message coming in for you, whether you it's currently going on right now or whether it's about to happen. It's coming in. It's there. Could be a fire sign, could be a Capricorn, could be, I have fire, I have earth here, could be a Taurus, a Libra, could be any sign. But this is someone that will make it known to you that this person, um, they do have good intentions. This is someone who is genuine. This is someone who has good, um, they have good intentions. They're not there to hurt you. They're not. This person, you know, they want to open up towards you. They want, they want to flirt with you. They want to tell you how attractive, you know, they find you. This is someone who wants to flirt with you. This is someone who wants to just have some fun with you over messaging or maybe just talking on the phone or maybe on social media, whatever the case may be. For your outcome for the remainder of this month. Now, this is where... I had to stop the video three times, but now it's like the message has, I like the message has completely gone through. So there is this new person that you're talking to. They're going to tell you something very important. They're going to tell you a secret. They're going to tell you something that they possibly never told anyone before. And I feel like this person's going to tell you that this person, something along the lines that this person, you know, has been hurt. There's something about that this person, you know, on the outside, this person looks like they're they're not someone who's hurt. They're someone who's just kind of fun. And, you know, they're just someone having fun. And they don't come off as someone who has wounds. But this is someone who has wounds. And they're going to tell you about that. They're going to open up towards you and tell you that they've been disappointed. That they've been hurt. And I feel like with this person opening up and telling you some sort of secret. Whatever it is that they've gone through in the past. That's going to finally, it's like, it's going to finally click in your head that, you know, you're, that you're able to fight this. You're able to get through this, what you're currently going through, the five of pentacles. You're, you're going to overcome that. This month, you are overcoming that. You're going to finally have a better, you're going to get into a better mind state with that eight of swords in reverse. Your mind, your thoughts, they're not going to be holding you down anymore. 
your emotions, your mindset, you're overcoming it. Nothing is going to stop you. Nothing. And with this person telling you this, I feel like you're going to realize that, you know, you could relate to that because that's what you're currently going. That's what you currently have gone through. You know, this person doesn't know what you're currently going through. That's that's what you're going through internally. You're not you're not telling this person that. But you're finally going to overcome it and realize and look back and say, you know what? I can't believe I was, you know, um, I was like trapped in my own mindsets. I'm better than that. I'm stronger than this. I could get through this and I have got through this. And finally, that's when your life is going to get back to normal. It's going to finally start to feel more at ease, more at balance. Things are going to get better. You're finally going to leave, you know, all those emotions behind. And you're finally going to take a leap of faith here towards whatever it is, the unknown, you know, you're going to take a leap of faith into whatever it is that makes you feel good again. You're not going to look back anymore. You're not going to, your emotions, the baggage, whatever it is that you, your mental state, you're leaving it behind. And you're moving forward with that fool. That's what I have, Capricorn. Hope it does resonate with you guys. Please like this video and do subscribe to my channel.